I do feel led to speak something that I feel that Jesus has placed on my heart as a message to those who do not believe, those who do not know the Lord, those who have not experienced his love and his mercy, and those who have not turned from their sin, who do know of Jesus, who have heard of his grace, who has heard of his never-ending love, but chooses not to believe in the wrath and judgment and hatred for sin that he has. It's astonishing to see the words of Jesus being fulfilled all over the earth and how very few people bat an eye and how many have no understanding they have no eyes or ears they cannot see they cannot hear lest they would be converted that their hearts would be changed and that God would heal them But very few can understand that all that we see on this earth right now is just fulfillment of the words that God spoke. All of the catastrophes, the travail, the things that this earth is going through, and the people thereon. People cannot see that these are the woes. These are the plagues. These are the famines, the droughts. These are the things that Jesus spoke of. They're happening right now. And the reason why these things are happening is because he's fed up with the sin of this world. The sin in the hearts and in the minds of the people who have not been converted to holiness. They have more than reached up to heaven. They have more than reached to God's throne. They are an offense to a holy and a mighty God. And the sins of all of the people they will be heard and seen and they will be judged by a truly holy and just and righteous God but people in their hardness of heart they say why would this happen to me why would all these bad things happen to the world or to the, the people who appear good in the eyes of men? Why would these things happen if such a loving God exists? If you can only understand the true love of God and what that constitutes, what the true love of God is. God does not have a love for worldliness, for the flesh. He has a love for the soul. He has a love for the souls that he created. And that love for our souls will lead us to eternal life, life eternal, life that will never end. But very few show their love for God in return. Very few do what he actually says. Very few obey him. 
and even they could get caught up in trials and in tribulation. But they know that this life is only temporary. They know that there is eternity after death. And they know that they will stand before God. But for the people who don't know, they want to preserve their life. They want their life now. They don't care how much happens on this earth. They don't care about anything else except themselves, the things of this world, the cares of this life. And they'll take that with them to their grave and before God. Their selfishness, their sin, and their iniquity will be judged. But those people will stand before a holy God. And they'll try to reason. They'll try to weasel their way out and say, Lord, I didn't have time. Lord, why didn't you show me? Lord, why didn't you speak to me? Why didn't you give me a sign? Why didn't you do this or that for me? But the Lord is always working. Jesus is always working on the hearts and minds of every person, every soul. The people that can't hear, they seek fleshly signs. They seek the signs of men, false prophecies, lies. They don't seek the truth. They don't seek after what God truly wants them to seek after, and that is Him, His ways. And because of that, He will send many to the lake of fire because they did not examine themselves. They did not realize and see. They did not wake up to the real truth. They did not wake up in time, though God gave them chance after chance after chance to repent and to come to Him and submit themselves to Him. But for those who did love God, who do love God, they have confidence and hope and faith unto life eternal. Those who do truly hear His voice, those who see His judgment, those who know that all that happens on this earth is orchestrated by a mighty God, they will be without fault. And they will live without fault. They will have oil in their lamps, clean, white as wool wedding garments to be worn and received on the day that Jesus returns before his throne. But for those who did not have their wedding garments on, those who did not fill their lamps with oil, they will wake up to sudden eternal judgment. And the reality is is that very few will make it. Very few out of all the souls on this earth will make it into the kingdom of God. Many will be swept up in His judgment on earth 
and in eternity. And the encouragement I give to you is that don't be like the many. Don't be as the many who love their lives, their lives on this earth, who hated the truth, who did not wake up, who did not realize, who didn't come to God when they were given chance after chance after chance, who will be with fault the day they stand before him and who will go to hell. Be a part of the few the few who wake up now, the few who realize now that this time is very, very limited. The time they have on this earth is limited and will be cut short for those who are hardened in heart and stubborn. But those who know Jesus will live the life that he has for them because they know him, his plan, his purpose for their lives and will reap the greatest blessing of all to be with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords forever in peace, in joy, in love. Never to experience hardship, trial, travail, or evil again. Because every manner of evil is cast into the lake of fire, is judged and cast into outer darkness. And those who have evil in their hearts will be cast into outer darkness. So you must decide to hearken to the call that God has for you. Fear Him. Obey Him. Love Him with all of your heart and soul and mind and strength. And He will reward you. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you.